did I teach about their faith? So we will start over here with Savannah. So I did a combination of each of the options. So I chose a Bible verse, and I'm also going to explain how that helped me through quarantine as well. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 6 states, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. To me, this verse means that no matter what happens within your life, if you put enough trust within God and understanding, he will guide you in the right directions to make positive, impactful changes on yourself and on the world. This is really what I needed to hear right now because I knew I needed that one person to put faith into no matter what the world might throw at me. Developing that sense of love and understanding for God really gave me a new perspective on how I viewed him and in the ways that he can only reinforce my strength and growth as a person. And one day he'll be here to help all of us and the world when he knows it's time. But for now, all we need to do is continue to put our complete trust and understanding into him. Thank you, Savannah. Nice. Very nice. Ashley Getter. Um, you can, you know what, stay where you are and, the, and Al will come to you. Yeah. Just, just Not a problem. Right. No, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I chose a Bible verse too. The Bible verse that I chose is from Romans chapter 8, verse 38 through 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. This Bible verse means a lot to me because it gives me comfort knowing that through anything and everything, God will always be with me and love me. Even though we have all been separated from each other, I have not been separated from God. God has helped me and my family stay safe and healthy during these times. God's work has been shown by some of my teachers in that they have helped, me guide, they have helped guide me through this transition to online school. Through all the tough times I've experienced, I felt God's love and comfort. Thank you. I'll make the ah. <laughs> I chose the Bible verse too. The Bible verse that I chose is from Philippians 4.13. It says, I can do everything through him who gives me strength. This verse means a lot to me because God is the one who leads me through life and gives me strength to do it. God has given me strength, especially through these past few months. He gives me motivation to keep going and never give up. He gives me strength to try new things and go out of my comfort zone. God has also given me strength to be myself. God gives me comfort in knowing that no matter what, he will always forgive me and love me. I chose a Bible verse from John chapter 19, verse 28. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fill, fulfill the scripture, I am thirsty. I chose this one because it kind of shows that everyone is equal. Everyone is born on earth and then we all die. And it just really helps me understand that we all come from different places, but we're all the same. Okay, that was Molly High. Here, Walter. Okay, so the one I chose is from Lamentations 3.21, and it's, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope, because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I think this verse portrays how we should always have hope, especially in these times. It is very easy to lose hope because of how long this pandemic has been going on, but we have to stay strong and not lose hope. God has helped us through this and continues to give us the strength to keep going. Merit Gessel. I chose how I see God at work in the world. How I see God at work in the world is I see him helping millions of people who have lost them in over COVID-19. I also see God in the world helping first responders get through their hard day to make sure everyone is safe and healthy. I also see God take time out of the... I also see people take time out of the day to visit people in nursing homes. I also see God in, jo in joyful times, such as singing joyful songs. That is how I see God at work in the world. I show us how I see God in the world. In the hectic, fast-paced world that we live in today, 
which has been complicated by the global pandemic, COVID-19, it can be hard to see God at work. We need to slow down and just look because God is with us everywhere. I see God every day when I wake up and see birds flying around outside and look up and see the sun shining bright in the sky. And when it's dark outside, I see God in the bright shining moon. I believe that it is God looking down and watching over all of us, helping us get through these tough times. God has given strength, courage, and knowledge to our essential workers who provide us with much needed services. I see God in the love and support of my family. They always encourage me to do my best and to be kind to others, to make a positive difference in the world. I chose how God does work in our world today. I believe that God is always with us and that God always does a lot of work in our world. But right now, he is having to do even more. Because of the coronavirus, so many people are praying and asking God for help. God has helped myself, my family, and many other people I know stay healthy during the pandemic. I'm sure God would like to keep everyone healthy and safe from the coronavirus, but God has a plan for all of us. We may not understand it at the time, but eventually we will see what he did for us. God never stops working. That is how I think God has done work in our world today. He's making a video so we can we can watch it later and we can hear all the statements better. But my heart is bursting with pride and joy right now. What I always say is, you know, confirmation used to be, okay, memorize this Bible verse and memorize the Apostles' Creed and memorize this, the, the Lord's Prayer and memorize everything. What I want the focus to be on is learn your faith and learn how God good God is and learn that God is with you all the time, not just on Sundays and I, your statements are so beautiful, and I am so proud of you. Okay. Stir up in Bradley the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Stir up in Shane the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. <laughs> Stir up in merit the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Stir up in Kira the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Stir up in Molly the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Stir up in Alyssa the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Stir up in Ashley the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Should have it memorized by now. <laughs> o Lord, stir up in Savannah the gift of your Holy Spirit, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, 
the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen.